Uh, so for the last part of uh, this chapter, uh, let's cover BGP, uh, Border Gateway Protocol. There's uh, two types of uh, uh, review. Ano, review. Uh, we have two types of uh, or classifications of routing protocol. We have the IGP, Interior Gateway Protocol. These are the types of protocol you are exposed to in your Cisco 2 and Cisco 3, right? Like RIP, EIGRP, and OSPF are under IGP. We use IGP if you were to connect uh, within the company. Example, Mapua. You know what? In Mapua, we are using I EIGRP. That's the routing protocol we use in order for us to... Um, that's a requirement, okay, for uh, branches to connect. Like connection of Mapakati to Intramuros to Malayan Mindanao, also Laguna. Okay? So... Uh, we use EIGRP, so connecting branches of a company or of an organization. The right routing protocol for that is e, is uh, IGP. Okay, and then review, diba? We have two we have two types of IGP. We have the distance vector. This is where we have RIP, uh, and then uh, EIGRP also. Actually, EIGRP is a hybrid, but by nature it's classified uh, as uh, distance vector okay uh, link state is OSPF uh, then we have EGP by concept EGP we use this to connect uh, between autonomous system okay so for example let's say uh, telco uh, for the internet connection say PLDT uh, again uh, by Cisco one we've, we, we, we were taught that internet infrastructure is a connection what we can see here are connection of different service providers right telco like example the 65001 this is the uh, infrastructure of PLDT so there is a specific router in PLDT that connects to another telco say Cytel Singap it's a, the telco in Singapore say Singaporean telco has an autonomous system of 65002 so in order to connect this router here from PLDT to the router of Cytel, uh, we do not use IGP for that. We use BGP. Okay? B and BGP is an example of an exterior gateway routing protocol. So, if we were to connect between autonomous systems such as ISPs, this is where we resort or use uh, EGP. And one, again, example of EGP is the board border gateway routing protocol. Okay? there so so again we have the uh, under bgp under border gateway protocol uh, we have two uh, we have the external bgp and then the internal bgp okay so internal bgp is used uh, with um, is used uh, between routers in the same autonomous system example with pldt okay with pldt you uh, set up BGP inside uh, PLDT infrastructure. Okay, uh, we do this uh, because uh, BGP has a uh, this routing protocol has a means of managing the packets that are routed in the internet infrastructure. It has a much faster or a better approach in managing the uh, packets routed in the or needs to be transmitted to our internet infrastructure. It will be taught, discussed in your CCNP. This discussion is just as an overview. Okay? So, setting up uh, IBGP, you do it within the autonomous system. EBGP is set up uh, between, uh, autonom between different autonomous systems. Let's say, connection of a router which has an autonomous system of 65,001. Connecting it to a router that has an autonomous system of 65002, they are different. The type of BGP to set up is eBGP. So, uh, on the cost, on the customer side, okay, example, Mapua, ano, uh, Mapua. So, like a customer side, uh, may set up BGP. Yes, on the telco side, definitely. Okay, definitely on the customer on the server. Sorry, have I said that? I'll, I'll let me repeat that again. Again, on the customer side, is there a chance we set up BGP? Yes, 
in the service provider side like PLDT, of course, yes, definitely, because service provider are the are our internet providers. So we expect that there are BGP set up uh, in the in the router, especially in the in the internet in the internet infrastructure uh, that they have. So let's let me go back to the customer side. Okay, example, ha, let's say this sixty five thousand one. Let's say this is Mapua. This time again, this is Mapua. Okay. Excuse. Let's say this is Mapua. So when do we set up BGP here? We usually see setup of BGP if, let's say, like Mapua, an organization of Mapua, or any company or organization has two or more uh, internet, uh, two or more um, providers, okay, in the internet connection. Example, say Mapua, okay, ha, which has an autonomous system of 65,001. This includes uh, all branches of Mapua, ha? Mapakati, Intramuros, Laguna. Uh, they, the, the internet provider is, let's say, Eastern Telco, uh, which has an autonomous system of 65,002, and PLDT, which has an autonomous system of 65,004. So, if this is the kind of scenario uh, or topology, you expect better, better to um, study BGP and know advantages of BGP and then after that, you set it up, okay? When not to use, um, example, let's say a company of Mapua, it only has one service provider, okay? Uh, that is uh, when not to use bgp you cannot uh you cannot take advantage of bgp in this kind of a setup okay there uh let me first pause this for a while and the next is the s packet tracer okay so uh as for the uh bgp uh, config we are to work on with this packet tracer activity of bgp so in this activity, we have two branches, Acme 1 and other company 1. Acme 1 is connected to an ISP 1 and other company 1 is connected to ISP 2. We are to set up eBGP, external BGP. Okay, so in the um, configuration, the uh, to enable BGP, we type in router BGP and then the autonomous system number. And then we need to specify the BGP neighbor. Okay, like in this case, Acme 1. Okay, uh, the BGP, BGP neighbor, the ISP uh, one. So to set it up, we type in neighbor, uh, IP address, the remote uh, autonomous, remote dash AS, and then the autonomous system uh, number. Okay, then we need to advertise the network address to the eBGP neighbor uh, as being oriented by, originated by this autonomous system. The syntax is network then the network address, then the then mask, and then the subnet mask. I have here an example. Example, uh, company A, we want to establish it, uh, uh, an eBGP neighbor relationship to AS, to ISP1. So we type in neighbor, and then the uh, public IP, ah, the IP address of uh, ISP1, uh, IP address of the interface of ISP1 to which the company A is connected. Okay, like in this case is 209.165.201.1. Then remote dash AS. Then the autonomous system of autonomous system number of ISP1. Okay, and then for the neighbor, ah sorry, and then for then we define the network that we have that uh, company A has a network of 198.133.29.0 mask and then the subnet mask. Okay, that's how simple it is. So we now configure. Okay, so uh, in this activity, that's a requirement, no? So let's configure Acme 1. Go here, CLI, okay, enter. Okay, wait. Ano ba yan? Ayaw mo ah. Ngayarang yun ah. Okay na nga yan. So, enter, enable, conf t. So, we type in router, bgp, 
uh, its autonomous system is autonomous system of uh, ACME 1 is 65001 so we type it here 65001 enter and then okay next in the set uh, in the next in the syntax is uh, neighbor neighbor and then uh, we need to get the IP address of this interface in ISP entry 1 for us to see labels we go to the option preference then always show port label so we need to know the IP address of S000 okay I have my table here S000 of ISP 1 is 1111 so neighbor 1111 okay our options is remote dash AS and then the autonomous system of uh, ISP1 which is 65003 uh, 65003 so there is a notification that PGP is up next is network we declare here the network address of ACME1 local area network uh, the network address of the local or private network of ACME1 which is 192.168.0.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 so network 192.168.0.0 mask and then 255.255.255.0 there done okay so that's a requirement let's try it again this time we go to add uh, the next router uh, next branch go here has a an autonomous system of 65002 uh, then 65002 there so we now type that um, okay enable con t router bgp 65002 then neighbor okay neighbor then p uh, autonomous system sorry the ip add pala the ip add of s00 s000 of isp2 this one right interface of isp2 serial interface of isp2 is S000, uh, this is the interface where the other company one is connected. So 1119, go back here. So 1.1.1.9, then remote dash AS is the option. And then the autonomous system of the ISP, which is 65003, 65003. Then neighbor, ah, sorry, network network and then network address of other company one which is uh one seven two sixteen ten zero right that's a network address one seven two sixteen ten ten zero we make zero the host part but what i'm looking at is an ip ad for us to get the network address you need to make the zero part uh, the host part zero and then with the slash 24 oh sorry forgot the mask mask and then there okay so to verify show IP route should be able to see a, a B an established BGP okay on both routers uh, do show IP route and there okay it's already uh, present uh, in our routing table check the activity and uh, if you notice our completion is now six out of six okay uh, ayun. so that's the only requirement for this uh, BGP there's lots of things to learn about there's lots of things to still take note about BGP okay uh, it is explore it is discussed in detail in CCNP okay again uh, like BGP it's me its purpose is like this and uh, no example ha, Mapua Mapua we have two internet connections in Mapua. One is in connected in uh, Eastern Telco, that's uh, say ISP1, and then PLDT, our ISP2. Okay. Well, again, the beauty of BGP is, for example, uh, 
BGP can decide where to route the packet faster uh, going to a, we to a specific uh, service or say a web service. Example, say uh, it is much faster to access the Blackboard using TLDP. Okay? Uh, by looking at the performance of these two ISP much faster in PLDT if to be uh, if the Blackboard uh, website is to be accessed. So you can set it up in BGP so that whenever it goes to uh, this uh, service, this website, it will use PLDT. Okay. Say it is faster to access Amazon going to Eastern. Okay. Uh, then you may route. Then BGP may route the packet. Uh, going to Amazon using uh, the ISP2, okay. So th this uh, this um, scenario, okay, how it works, its concept is discussed in CCNT, okay. So some so this topic that we have here is as a, is an overview of what is there in BGP. This ends my discussion for chapter three, and. Thank you for listening.